Welcome back to another episode of the Daily Fantasy Scramble. I am your host, the Daily Fantasy Sniper, here to talk UFC 221. The main event is Luke Rockhold versus Yoel Romero in Perth, Australia. Uh, here in the Scramble, we talk upsets on DraftKings. Three fighters priced 8000 or below to, hope you, to help you free up some cap and hopefully make some money on DraftKings before we get into this week's uh, picks. Please give me a follow on Twitter at the DFS Sniper. Also, jump over and, sub- and subscribe to my own YouTube page. More content there. And for full breakdown, full fight breakdowns from myself um, and Tony Fagnato from MMA Today and Kyle Steele, you can listen to us on the Loudmouth MMA Podcast, which you can find on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, wherever you listen to your podcast. And as always, make sure you're checking out uh, Brett Apley's premium content on, on Roto Grinders and subscribing um, to the Daily Fantasy MMA channel, which is where this video is hosted. Now we got through all that. Let's get to the picks this week. Um, when 2 0 and 1 last week, I'm saying 1 because I didn't really spec, expect Priscilla to win. It was more of a salary saving uh, option, which worked out pretty well if you loaded up on Shevchenko and the stack and Santos and, and some other guys. So, pretty good week last week. I'm going to hope to continue it this week. Uh, really a tough week for dogs. I've come up with um, with a couple here. One that I do have a bet on straight is Teruto Ishihara at 7,500. He's plus 190. And a line in this fight I just don't agree with. People are really down on Ishihara. I understand why. Lost to Artem Lobov. Uh, looked bad against Gray Maynard. Was just wrestled to death. Jose Canonis, while he has some grappling, is not as good of a grappler as Gray Maynard. It's also really important to note that this fight is taking place at 135 pounds, not 145, where Ishihara has fought his entire UFC career. Uh, he's made 135 before. I believe it's been four years or so. Uh, Canonis, he's a well-rounded fighter. He's a finalist on his season of Tough Latin America. Uh, Tough Latin America. Uh, it's got three straight wins since then. Has looked okay, but this is Ishihara is the best striker he's faced. And I think he's going to have a problem closing distance to even attempt those takedowns. And when he gets in, Ishihara should be the bigger guy and able to defend them. And on the feet, Ishihara should be just too technical and too strong. Um, I like the odds at 7,500, the, the odds at plus 190, and the savings on DraftKings at 7,500. I think of all the dogs... He's probably the most likely to win, in my opinion. So he's the first pick in the scramble at 7,500. Second pick, I've gone back and forth on this fight a bunch. I'm going to list Damian Brown at 7,700 against Dong Hyun Kim. Uh, this fight, when I first saw it in my head, it was Dong Hyun Kim is going to be able to get takedowns, and that's how he would control Damian Brown. I'm not so sure. Um, Brown has a background in wrestling. I've gone back to some pre-UFC fights. He has okay takedown defense, and Kim's takedowns are really in the clinch, and he muscled Brendan O'Reilly to the ground, and it was Brendan O'Reilly. Um, so he was in that wild fight against Marco Polo Reyes, where in a firefight, he just he got wild. I know he's been more technical recently, but again, it was Brendan O'Reilly and Takanori Gomi. Uh, Damian Brown is better than both of those guys, and... He had that war against Frank Camacho. I think this is going to be turned into a firefight type brawl, and that allows you to rack up some points. One with Damian Brown um, as the cheaper fighter at 7,700, and two in that scenario. I think, as I mentioned, Brown is more technical, more composed, and better suited for that type of firefight. So for those reasons, I think Brown is in play in both formats. I think I lean more for him as a GPP play at 7,700. But certainly in a discussion, especially on a pretty thin underdog card. Third pick, I'm going to, this is similar to last week. I cannot say this enough. I am not, not, not picking Cyril Asker to win his fight straight up. But I do have concerns about Tai Tuivasa. Cyril Asker, um, what pushes him over the top, just like Priscilla Cachera last week, he is 6,900. You can pay up for pretty much anybody else you want. You can roster um, who else who was up there this week. If you really want to stack the fight, you can play Tuivasa. Actually, I wouldn't go that route. I don't play Tuivasa um, in a stack. But you can play um, Adesanya. You can play Santos. You can play Volkanovski, Li Jinglong. You can fit all these guys in 
or a lot of them, by playing Cyril Asker at 6,900, and he's live in tournaments because we've never seen Tuivasa get out of the first round, and we've never seen him off his back. Asker, when he wins fights, he's 2-2 two and two in the UFC somehow. I get it. He's bad. Please don't comment or message me that on Twitter. Is a DraftKings salary savings, and he's live as an underdog because it's a heavyweight fight. If he takes Tuivasa down, which he's shown he, he's done against Dmitry Smolyakov, uh, he got a takedown in that fight. And his last win as well uh, against uh, Yu Yao Zong. He got four takedowns, ground and pound uh, submission, actually, ground and pound and then submission in that one. Uh, he'll score a ton of points if he happens to win at 6,900. You have to have him on your tournament roster to win. He's not going to be unowned. So I think he's worth mixing in a few shares at 6,900. In case this is a heavyweight, you know, one where we all shrug our, sh- shrug our shoulders and go, well, it's heavyweight. Um, and Tai Tuivasa is really hyped up. You should also get some leverage on Asker being under own and all the salary he opens up. I think he's got enough of a chance to make him viable in tournaments on DraftKings. So he's the third pick in the scramble, even though I am picking Tuivasa to win the fight uh, in my UFC fantasy by, by first round knockout. Asker is viable in tournaments on DraftKings. So that's what I have for you this week for UFC 221. Teruto Ishihara, 7,500. Damian Brown, 7,700. Or two underdogs, I think, who could win their fights, um, especially Ishihara, but they're both in play. Cash games and GPPs. And Cyril Asker as a GPP dart throw and also as a salary saver. Again, please give me a follow on Twitter at the DFS Sniper. Like, comment, subscribe to this YouTube page as well as my own. Good luck in your contest. I will see you next week.